All right, guys. I'm going to try to do this in one take. I, I just got to get some stuff out to you. I got to get some info out to you. I'm quitting. I'm quitting the vlog. I've been thinking long and hard about this, uh, especially over this last Christmas break. Man, I've been brainstorming. I Super fans will probably know this. My goal over break was to come up with a hundred ideas. And let's see here. I have... A hundred and one ideas that I came up with over my time away during Christmas for break. And uh, as I was as I was brainstorming, as I was thinking about this, I realized the vlog, the whole idea that I started out this channel with, you know, um, that I'm going to take you along with me every single day, and I'm going to show you my life as a musician. It, it's just it's not going to work. And you, you guys just know me so well, you know. And the last video I made, it was like a review of some headphones. Uh, you commented, and you're like, come on, man, where's the vlog? And then three other people commented the same thing. And I, I'm with you. I'm really with you. I, I don't want you to think, like, he's going against us, you know. He, he's not doing what we want to do. I, I understand. Like, the vlogs are fun, you know, and they're great videos. Um... It's, it's the content I want to be making. It, it really is. If I could just take you along for all the stuff I usually do and then show you the music part of it too, I'd do it, you know? Um, but the problem is there's no growth there. I've been experimenting with that this last year. I did a bunch of vlogs, and I was growing at a pretty slow rate. And I started making, you know, some wider varieties as far as videos are concerned. Made some reviews. I made some specific pointed music production videos and I mean if you look at my analytics things just go up when the vlog stops that's how it is um, the other thing I want to mention my entire time doing YouTube I've gotten one video share one share and I'm not saying this like where I'm at I'm mad at you where I'm angry it's not at all like that but the bottom line is that the vlogs aren't at the point where people share them and my videos aren't the point where people share them, you know. Um, it, I, it's just not there. Uh, which means the way I'm going to get views is not from making dope content. Uh, I've tried my hardest. I made a video called Hacking Acoustic Music where I put, like, everything into that to get shares. I spent, like, 15 hours on that. I'm figuring if I can make such a crazy viral video music idea, like this is going to kickstart me. No shares. Or I made my evaluating music video, Party Rock Anthem. Um, I spent 40 hours on that and no shares. In fact, that video is still under 500 views, I want to say. Um, and I, I put so much time into it. Because I figured that this kind of content, you know, this kind of just amazing content um, would cause shares. It, it hasn't. And I acknowledge that's not you, that's me. Like, I'm, I'm figuring this out. When you go on my, my Social Blade, Social Blade is this website where you can type in a YouTuber and it will, t like, show their potential growth over the next couple of years and it'll give them a grade based on a, several different analytics. I'm a C plus, um, and by the end of this year, I'm expected to have under 3,000 subscribers. At the end of five years, I'm expected to have under 10,000 subscribers. Um, and as many of you know, my goal for this next year is 10,000 subscribers, which means I got to change things. I mean, that's that's all it is. I have to change things. I have to get shares this year. I have to figure that out. I have to rely on the things that have been working, which by the way, suggested videos and search engines. That's what's been doing it for me. Uh, those are my top two sources of traffic. It's not embedded videos, which is what a lot of popular YouTubers top sources of traffic are, where people go and share their stuff and then people watch their videos through Facebook and Twitter. Um, I don't have, I have one of those. One person click share this whole year. And it may have been my mom or dad. I don't, I don't even know. 
But I, I want to hear what you guys think because the kind of content that I'm going to be coming out with is going to be the best content I've ever made. That's the bottom line. Um, I'm going to be putting the absolute maximum amount of effort into it that I can, you know. Um, but I, I have I have to point it towards. I mean, I have to point it towards something that's going to work. Every video has to be like a review. Every video has to be pointed towards working in search engine and working in um, suggested. Because you guys aren't sharing, you know. Again, I'm not mad at you. I'm not, I'm not angry at you. It's nothing like that. Um, I'm upset that I can't grow through my favorite type of content. And I'm, I'm kind of upset with YouTube too. The whole thing. Um, I can't name my videos what I want to name my videos. That's that's just what it is. I can't do that because I have to find things that people are searching for just enough where a little guy like me has a chance, even a possibility of ranking in Google, like where it's getting searched 200 times a month. Um, so I can't name my video what I want to. I have to name it what Google wants me to. Um, I'm just I, I'm upset that I can't do vlogs. Um, maybe there's a possibility that when I'm bigger, once we've grown, you know, that people will want to watch my vlogs and that, that I will be able to rely on my subscribers for YouTube and for growth. But that's not where we are right now. And for that reason, there will be no more vlogs. I, I quit the vlog. It's dead. And that makes me really sad. Um, that's why I started this. That's why I chose to do YouTube. I mean, I, I, I like the other videos I get to make. It's not... It's not all sad, okay? Like, I'm still gonna have fun doing YouTube. And and when I see shares start coming again, I mean, I don't know what I have to do, like if I just have to remind you guys more, or if I have to tell you there's a button that you can click to share it and get a good link for whatever social media site you're going to. I, I don't know what I have to do. Tell me in the description, or not in the description, in the comments. Tell me what it is. Um, when I see the shares go up, I'll, I'll do vlogs. That's what I have to say. When I see the shares go up, I'll do vlogs. Because I want to do vlogs. And then there's the dilemma of my name. My name's the music vlogger. You know, because again, that was my vision from the beginning. Was to vlog. Um, so what do I do now? Do I change my name to like Nathan LaValle or something? That'd be confusing because all my old videos I say, Hey, it's the music vlogger back with another video. I don't know. Tell me what you think. Um, I guess I'd be worried that people who don't watch every one of my videos would get confused with like Nathan LaValle popping up in their subscription feed so they'd probably unsubscribe but I guess that's not what matters. What's, what matters is the people who are watching my videos. Um, and you guys will understand if I change my name. Uh, because it is misleading, you know. The music vlogger, where is the vlogging? Where is, we understand the article. We understand, you're saying, the, the music vlogger. Um, we understand the music part of it. You do a lot of that, but you're not vlogging. This is why, guys. I just wanted to explain it to you. I just wanted to tell you. Um, I'd love to vlog. I mean, I'm doing stuff, guys. Like, I'm drinking a gallon of water a day. Uh, I've done it for about a week now. I'm eating really good. Uh, I'm exercising, but that's not going to help me. At least historically, it hasn't. So I'd love to show it, but I can't. Um, yeah, that's it. This is pretty intimate. Like no cuts. You know, that's how this video is. 
That's how I want it to be. Because, I mean, it is a serious issue, you know. I want to do the vlog. I want to do the vlog. Um, maybe it's a good move to change my name anyways. There's a lot of problems with my name. Like, I didn't put any spaces. So when you search in Google, it automatically corrects to with spaces. So it's really hard to find me. And then I started tagging my videos with spaces. So now you can't. It's harder to find my video without spaces. Maybe it'd be a good thing to change the name. I don't know. Tell me what you think. This is a conversation, guys. But I'm at, I'm firm. I'm set. I can't do the vlog until I see shares. Um, and until I figure out how I can motivate people to share. How I can make better content. It's not on you guys. Um, I mean, maybe it is. But the way I see it is it's on me. Where i got to figure this out. I'm just someone you consume each day. I'm just a... I'm just something to you. To me, um, I am thinking every angle of this out, you know. So much goes into it. So much goes into it. And for you, it's probably just a split second moment of share or not, you know, or something else pops up good that you want to click on. I I'm thinking about it. I'm trying to figure it out, guys. I want to do the vlog, though. Okay, well that's it. Um, oh, one more announcement. My Patreon, I have one of you supporting me there. And trying to make videos twice a week for the one of you that's paying me $2 a month. I'm sure you understand, like, it's just not possible yet. It's not a payout. I want to make content, I want to keep going, but what I need to do is remove the amounts of times per month from my promises. So, listen, to the one of you that's decided to back me on Patreon. If you want to leave, that's fine. You agreed to something different than that, but I'm going to be changing everything to, for now, to when I can. Or maybe I'll put in a clause that says, once I have 50 backers, I'll do this twice a month, something like that. Um, one other piece of news. Let's end on a positive note. I just got sponsored by a headphone company, which is actually really exciting. I'm super excited about that. It's the best pair of in-ear headphones I've ever used. And just real quick, I'll be talking about this more in the future. I'm not saying that, like, these people didn't reach out to me. I reached out to them um, because of the maybe 100 in-ear headphones I've used, these are the best and only cost $30. And I'm just getting this out now because I, I, I wanna be, I want to have integrity in this, you know. They're crazy. <laughs> 30 bucks. Um, and so I reached out to them. I said, listen, you, you got the best headphones, the best in-ear headphones I've ever used. Let's do some business. How can I help you? And they're like, well, tell me, tell me what we need to do. And I was like, will you sponsor me? Will you provide me with headphones um, for the length of us being in business together? And they said, sure. What what do we need to send you to get it rolling? So, I mean, we're still talking. We're still kind of finalizing it, but really exciting news. Really exciting. Um, and actually, today I've been working on my computer on a resume that I'm going to send out to companies that I really like in an attempt to get some more sponsorships. That will help me make cooler videos. I want to do, I've already mentioned this before, but I want to try to record an entire track underwater so I'll need a bunch of instruments to do that, right? Because it'll ruin the instruments. I can try to waterproof the instruments too, which is going to be fun. I'm definitely going to try to waterproof a mic. But again, I need sponsors for these things. I, I can't afford to put my gear down. Not when the shares aren't happening. Not when I'm not getting out there and making the YouTube money. You get how it is. I feel ashamed though. It's like I, that's, this eye contact feels ashamed. I feel like I've let you down, you know, but over Christmas I thought about it a lot. Let me uh, read some of these ideas. Okay. So, I'm going to do a 100,000 Guitar Center Challenge, where I tell you what I would buy with $100,000 if I had it to spend on anything I wanted from Guitar Center, online or in store. It's going to be good. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna make a video about 
is it a necessity to be a musician to be a music producer? I think that's a fascinating topic. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys my proposal. I filmed it on a GoPro. I sang a song. It's pertinent to music because I'm going to be talking about how I rewrote the song to work for my proposal. Um, I mean, I'm looking through this. It's going to be good. I'm going to be telling you guys the absolute best quality equipment you can get to make an entire studio at $100, 250 500 and $1,000. Like, if you only had $100 to spend on a studio to, like, get started with music making, what would I have you get? I'm going to go through all those details. But you get what I'm saying. Like, the, these video ideas, like recording 100 guitars and overlaying them and seeing how that sounds, you know. Or um, a five dollar plugin versus a thousand dollar plugin. Or um, I don't want to give all of them away, you know. Um, yeah, I can't give that one away. That one, that one might get stolen. Some of these are really good. I want to do um, playing acoustic guitar for twenty four hours straight. I mean, you can see how. I'm chasing the share with these because I don't think I'm going to get the share from like some random picture from a thumbnail and then some clickbaity tile title. It's just it hasn't worked. So, that's it. I've gone on far too long. If you've made it this far, I appreciate it. Um, you know, if if you want to support, Patreon's the way to go. It's real simple to go there. They use PayPal um and you can choose to pay any amount of money, but there's specific levels where you'll receive occasional rewards. Um, there's like a really high up level where you can actually receive custom merchandise. I'll make it and send you a care package. Um, that's the US only though for that one. But yeah, that's it guys. I think I've said that like five times now, but really this time's it. So I'll talk to you guys later and peace.